What's up everybody? Today we are reacting to Vinci rankings, ranking every single Metallica song. So, let's get right into it. Ooh. Oh. Poor Twisted Me. Okay. God awful. <laughs> um, okay, so Poor Twisted Me. I don't think it's great. It definitely went down in my list anyway. I think it was at 69. But I think I'd put it... Definitely the hundreds. It's just not a good song. I agree. Completely. Ah! There we go. Fucking Slither. Slither is the worst Metallica song. No questions about it. Ha! It is very cringe. Very cringe. This is what I'm going to put my two cents in. The intro... Just the riff. The snare drum obviously fucking sucks, but just the riff. Honestly, I kind of like it. Agreed. Unnecessarily long. I hate this part of this song. It is cringe. <sighs> if Darkness had a son. This song gets way too much hate, I think. Like, Wasted Potential. Is it though? Like, the intro is just so killer, as basic as it is. I just, I really like it. But, you know, everybody has an opinion. Better than you. It is pretty repetitive, I'll give you that. Sucks. Attitude. This is what I'm going to say. Attitude? It's kind of underrated. Like, I put it 85 and I still agree with that. But I feel like it should be a little bit higher. Sure. Perfect spot. Second worst Metallica song, in my opinion. Purify. I don't like it. One bit. I think that it needs improvement. Obviously, they can't turn back the hands of time, but... Make a remaster. The whole album needs it. Yeah, I've never really liked this one. And unkind. Hmm. Not good at all. Yeah, I agree with the intro. That's a pretty cool name, too. But, what do you do? We must break. Same palms as darkness, but better. Ooh. Okay, that's a hot take. Um. You must burn. I really like that part. Um. But I still think darkness is better. Murder one. Yeah, that song sucks. I do not like it. Two by four. Meh? <laughs> it does pretty sound... Or, shit. It sounds pretty messy. I agree with that. No, you are not savage! Here we go. Anesthesia. It is correct in this assumption. So much wasted potential. The one part at 2 minutes and 27 seconds where I skip to every time. And that is the only moderately okay part to the song. It is unnecessarily long and I feel like it should only have been that part. Continue. Cool song title. Agreed. <laughs> Intro to Leopard Messiah. Yeah, I... It does sound... Uh, actually, it does... Now that I'm thinking about it, it does quite sound like it a lot. But here comes Revenge, you know. I'd say it's mid. Ronnie! That main riff is pretty cool, especially the intro. I really do like it. Dream no more. <laughs> Forgettable. I think it's probably in the better half. My world. This part is actually... Uh, hmm. My world. Interesting. 
I do think that it could. I, I I want Metallica to do a remaster of Saint Anger with this fixed snare. Sweet Amber. Oftentimes people think this is the best Saint Anger song. It it isn't fun. Yeah. Sure. Here we go. I think this is the worst hardwired song in my honest opinion. I do not like Atlas Rise. A lot of people do and say it's the best or one of the best off the album, but I disagree. I yeah. End of, okay, end of the line. Now, I think he had. Did he have? Is this the worst Death Magnetic song? Maybe. Um, I think so. Yeah, it is. End of the line is underrated, in my opinion, and it does have pretty cool lyrics and intro. I think it needs a better bridge. And chorus. But I still think it's pretty good. Okay. Harvester Sorrow. I really like the Harvester of Sorrow part. Agree with Become the Night. Mm. I don't know. Does Become the Night not like Harvester of Sorrow? I'll have to check him out. But but yeah, I, I like Harvester of Sorrow. I think it should be way higher. But, you know... That part's really weird. Okay, I wanna okay. I wanna make a point of interest right now. So Confusion sounds like the metal version of like the Mario ship airship theme. I'll play it right now. No Doesn't it sound like that? I know. It's crazy. Just metal, which Kind of like Lies. chasing light. It does have a good intro. I'll give you that. Unnamed feeling. Unnamed feeling. Very sad and maybe deserves to be a bit higher. Uh, so that leaves Frantic as the number one. Um, the unnamed feeling. I think. I don't agree with it being this. I think Invisible Kids is the second best Saint Anger song. Uh, it's, yeah, it's gonna get me in trouble. But I need feelings. I'd say the third best. Ooh, seek and destroy. Weak compared to the rest of Kill 'Em All and very overrated. Overrated, huh? Well, hmm. Seek and destroy. I would not say is my favorite. I'd say it's probably still in the lower half of Kill 'Em All, with down there with Metal Militia and Anesthesia. 87? I mean, to each their own. Seek and destroy. So tight Deserves, oh, pause. pause. Oh my god, okay. Deserves more if you ask me. First seven minutes. Um, I disagree. Completely. I think Crown of Barbed Wire is the worst. Uh, off their new album, 72 Seasons. I gotta stop saying new, it's been released for more, almost, I think over a year now. But, I think that Darkness... And barbed wire should be changed. That's my opinion. Wow. Screaming suicide. I really like the intro to the song. Generic. Yeah. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, voice crack. What the fuck? Um, Prince Charming. Okay. This is the most underrated Metallica song, in my opinion. Underrated. Like, I put this at number two. And that changed to number one. I really like Prince Charming. Like, it is a really good song. You can have fun with those lyrics. Yeah, the, especially the one part. Just like the, the chorus, it's, Hey, Ma, it's me. Like, or it's like, you know. It's it's cool, bro. Like, 84? I mean, I'd put it higher by a lot, <laughs> obviously. I feel like it should be higher for this, but... That's just my opinion. Okay, this stuff is garbage. Not into country music. Yeah, me neither. This fucking sucks. This should be down lower. Ooh. Hero of the... Okay, I've been really getting into this song. And yeah, I agree with this statement. It was pretty hard getting into it. But once I really listen to it, i say this is definitely top 30. Now that I've heard it. I'm the hero of the day. Heart the end, baby. 
very fun, but too long. Um, yeah, I agree. <laughs> this is not filler. Um, <laughs> I mean, you put it above Prince Charming. That's just kind of... Honestly, it's weird to see that. Because I put this at 115, I think. And I stand with that. I do not like Bad Seed. Broken, Beat, and Scarred, I actually do quite enjoy some days. When I feel like it. I think it is very underrated. And it is not bad at all. Enter Sandman 2023. Um, I I know what you're saying, like with the intro and stuff. But I really do like that intro, and I'm glad they actually gave Rob a chance, um, to put more oomph into the bass. Right? Like, I really like this one. Better half for me. Overrated, very overrated. I think that I would put it way lower. Probably in 110. I really do not like Moth into Flame at all. Frantic, the best from St. Anger. I do quite like Frantic. I think it's top 30, probably. At 27 kind of place. But yeah, um... The course is the best, especially with that riff in the back. Like, I really love it. Shadows Follow. I do like Shadows Follow. That is very, it is a very cool song. I very underrated. Yeah, I mean, Low Man's lyric is very underrated. I think that it should be... I want them to play it live again. I don't actually know if they played it live or not. I need to do some more delving into that. I will lock torn. Didn't need to be this long. Yeah, I agree. It's like, what, seven something minutes? I don't know. Now that we're dead. Those lyrics are pretty good. I do agree with that. Now that we're dead, though. Sorry. Really? 71? Hmm. The cool stuff in Key Kill em All starts right here. Yeah, I mean, it is in the better half for me. And at least you put anesthesia lower. That's all. That's all that matters. Phantom Lord. Um, okay. Phantom Lord. Definitely worse than or more, in my opinion. This is actually one of my friends really... Like, he really loves this song. Um, but... I think... It has a pretty good riff. I think it should be higher than 70, in my opinion. Okay. Here's where I get controversial. The thing that should not be... Is, in fact, overrated. 69 is a respectable placement, though. I'll give you that. This is already great. I mean, yeah, I do quite like All Night Run Long. I still th I like End of the Line more, but I think it's pretty good. No Wasting my heat. Yeah, rest in peace, Cliff. To live is to die. I do think is better than Suicide and Redemption, which oftentimes is considered their best instrumental, but I still think To Live Is To Die is better. Through the Never. I would put it a lower. I... Through the Never is overrated. Le Ooh. God, they started playing this more often. Ooh, Leopard Messiah? 64. Hmm. Leopard Messiah... Is great, I think. Personally, I think Master Puppets, like the song Master Puppets, is overrated. But I, I think Leper Messiah is underrated. 64 is good, though. Who has heard the parody version of this song? The Memory Remains. And 
that like humming in the background of that one part is uh I kind of, I quite like it actually. But the parody version um <laughs> If you know what it's called, type it down in the comments below. Fortune fame. Ooh, oh, I'm actually kind of surprised to see Devil's Dance this high. And I'm waiting for a reload song. I don't know when it is going to come up. But it went up, up a lot in my rankings. So, waiting for that. But Devil's Dance, it, I really love Devil's Dance. Underrated. Biopop. So intense, Death Magnetic. Yeah, I think he actually played the part where he says Death Magnetic, doesn't he? Death Magnetic. <laughs> Death Magnetic. Yeah, I, my Apocalypse is pretty good. I kind of like that. Uh, I'm not clicking the mouse. I quite like Death Magnetic, like, quite a bit. The first song ever produced. It's awesome. Hit the Lights is pretty good. I feel like they didn't need that thing at the start where Lars is just kind of banging on the drums and James is just... James or Kirk, I don't know. Or Mustaine, back when they recorded it. Uh, is going on the guitar. But I feel like once the song actually gets going, I really do like it. We look to leather. Braid is insanity. Ooh. I would put it in this exact same placement too. <laughs> I really like this, but it has some unnecessary section. Yeah, I mean, Freight ends of Sandy, it's an interesting pick. Yeah. Title track. Yeah. We're back with 72 seasons, folks. Uh, yeah, I mean, the title track is pretty good, I think. Um, that's all I have to say. <laughs> We haven't had any Ride the Lightning yet. Don't tread on me. I've actually been getting into the song more. Don't tread on me! Like, I like that part. Okay. <laughs> the house that Jack built. This talk box. I disagree with this completely. Um, I really do not like this song. To each their own, but in my honest opinion, the house that Jack built fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle within. Play this live instead of if darkness. Um, no. I really like darkness. Sorry, guys, but that's just my opinion. There it is. There's the song I was wondering. Could have been shorter because of how great it is. I really like the. The one guitar part with the wham, like the wham, wham, wham. I really like that part. And I, this is probably in the top 40 for me, Fixer. I really like this song. And I'm so glad they performed it live. Finally. I'm not doing that. Uh, Hardware, good song. I think the best off the hardware is the fucking truck. Fade to black. Okay. Fade to black. It's great and moving, but too overrated in my opinion. Fade to black, the first part of the song is good, but 52 I would put it there. But I feel like what saves it for me and puts it in the top 15, which is it probably is in 15 exactly. But what saves it for me is the second part, the da da dun da da dun da da dun da da dun dun but it's too late. <laughs> For whom the bell tells. Um, this song slaps. Like, I really love it. Like, Cliff's bass in this? Amazing. Same case with Fade, but the intro is great. Or, insanely great. It is! I just realized something. Fade to Black is uh, Vinci's worst Ride the Lightning song. I have to behold it. Yeah, this song is really good. I'd put it in top 20. I really got into uh, Eye of the Beholder. Bet. Bet. 
Sanitarium, one of the best Metallica ballads. Um, Sanitarium. I think I said this in my other reaction video, but the listen, damn it, is so, so good in my opinion. No one will. Actually, it's just oh, I sang, sang the wrong part. But yeah, the only good song, the only song where they say Metallica, they say we don't stop, we never do, cause we're Metallica, and it's really good. First, I'd say this is the second Metallica song I ever first heard. Obviously, I heard Enter Sandman first, but yeah, ain't my bitch. Cringe, but really works. I like it. Um, it is cringe, and I think it. This should be an eight. This four should be an eight. <laughs> My opinion. Thorn Within? Incredibly underrated. Why? Um... I don't know. <laughs> I just want... I, I, I want them to play this live more. I feel like the live version is better than the studio version. If they play it ever again. Let's turn off. Anticipation. A bit overrated. And song just came out. Um. Lexi Turner. What? A, yeah, Lexi Turner. So. I think this is one of the shortest Metallica songs, and it's really great. Nomination. Nomination. A Wolf of Man, that is a great song. That is an amazing song. Such a unique song. I should play more often. Yeah, I agree. It's it's really iconic. It's top 10. For me. Cyanide, okay. Cyanide, I think, is probably the worst Death Magnetic song. And I... Uh, I, I still like it. Like, I, I like Death Magnetic as a whole. But Cyanide, I think, is just the weakest. Give me fuel, Tool, give me fire, give me, give me that which I desire. I like how intense this song is, but a bit overrated as well. Um, yeah, fuel is overrated a little bit. Um, the course is what gets me, not the intro. I really like the course to the song. Like, ooh. And then I burn. Like I really like that part. Okay, okay. I feel like this should be way lower. What? So spit out the bones, number one. I feel like Halo on Fire should be really lower. Like really lower. I do not like this song in the slightest. But if he likes it, Vincey, teach their own. Orion. It's not Orion. It's Orion. Um, the interlude in the bass. Orion. Eh. I don't like it very much. I still think To Live Is To Die is better than this one. I think Master of Puppets. When is Master Pu I wonder where Master of Puppets' song is going to be. Oh my. Metal Militia? This high? It gets a lot of hate, in my opinion, better than Seek. Um, I disagree. I think Metal Militia. I remember uh, when you put Harvester Story, you said you agree with Become the Night. I agree with Become the Night on this song. But teach their own. 39. <laughs> A bit too overrated and still very moving and amazing. Yeah, this went down quite a bit <laughs> for my rankings. Um, yeah, it is very overrated. Overrated. Very. Trust I see. And I will find you. you. Every day for us, something new. The day that never comes. I think this is second best Death Magnetic song, I want to say. I am just realizing there is a Death Magnetic song that hasn't came up yet, 
and I completely forgot about it. And I still, I do not think Cyanide is the worst off Death Magnetic. Once that song comes up, I will point that out. Far gone. The chorus is really good, along with the guitar parts. Yeah, I agree. Too far gone, though. I would, I would still say Darkness is better. Title track. Catchy lyrics and amazing main riff. Yeah, the title track. I. Uh, hmm. It's good. Like I still think Injustice for All's probably in their top three albums. Wait. Yeah, I, I want to say into our top three albums. Um, but the title track is still really good. And 35 is a fair person. Where the wild things are, really? Criminally underrated. Props to Jason. I do not like this song in the slightest. Oh, I know what your number one on Reload is, too. Not gonna spoil that for anybody who doesn't know. But... Where the Wild Things Are. That's surprising. Room of Mirror. Okay, if I remember correct, I'm not- I don't even- What is the best 72 season song in his opinion? Oh, I know. I'm not gonna spoil it either. Uh, Room of Mirrors. Yeah, I love this song. This is their best 72 season song in my opinion. Four Horse Thing. The second song you ever heard from the band. Um, yeah, it's a good one too. Um, I do like the Four Horsemen. I still think it's top 10. Horsemen are growing near. I really like that part. Oh, and the, the seats they ride. They're coming to take your life. Title track. Ride the Landing has a few great solos. Yeah, it does. I really like the intro to this song. And the chorus. The chorus and the intro, amazing. I still think it's top five. Okay, I've been okay. I've been getting really into this song recently. Fight for it with fire, especially the transition from the calm part at the beginning to the thrashy and intense part. I really like fight fire with fire. Top ten. Fight fire with fire. So freaking heavy and very catchy lyrics. Um, yeah, and I also think it's overrated. <laughs> um. I've heard it just so many times. And have, we, have we heard Enter Sandman yet? I, I don't think so. Right battery. Yes, you cannot stop the battery. No, you cannot. <laughs> um, battery. Yeah, I, I really like battery. I this list is pretty good, honestly. Like I'm agreeing with most things other than like a couple like Harvester and Darkness, but yeah, it's good so far. And Chris Strong. And there it is. Very overplayed, but pretty well thought out. Yeah, there is the keyword overplayed. Um The first song I ever heard from the band. Um and I was questioning it a bit because I hear it everywhere. Everywhere now. I introduced one of my friends to Metallica and this is the only song they like. Which is very unfortunate, but... It is what it is. I think they need to give the other albums a shot. Suicide Redemption, so underrated, Trucks to Rock for this one. Yeah, I mean... Oh, so your number one is that song I'm thinking of. Um, I still think To Live Is To Die is better. Um, but Suicide Redemption is really great, and very underrated, I agree. Okay, nothing. Load is a pretty underrated album. Um, yeah, maybe. I still think it has some pretty lows, but King Nothing is definitely a high. I really like King Nothing, especially the Where's your crown, King Nothing? Ba -na -na.
Okay, call us to- oh my god. Fuck. Um, The Call of Cthulhu. The best instrumental track. Great job, Cliff. Um, Yeah, Cliff is pretty great. But The Call of Cthulhu is overrated. <laughs> the shortest draw. Some people like it. I myself th find it alright. Oh, I don't. I know what's coming up. I really like that part. God that failed. Great song. A great song. And I it is one up in my rankings quite a lot. The song that got me into the band. Hmm. Now, if you're watching this, um, leave a comment and tell me if it was Stranger Things that got you into the band because of this song. Because that is my hate towards this song, Stranger Things. But if you like the other songs that you clearly do, props to you. Ba -da -da -da. Dyer's Eve, they should play so this once a year. Um, yeah, I agree. Dyer's Eve is fucking amazing. Love that part. My friend of misery. Oh, to me? Yeah. I would put it lower, but he's still on. I said that a lot. Wherever I Meet Rome is a great song. Where I leave my head in stone, okay? I really like that part. I love this song. Instead of the bone, there you go, hardwired. So thrashy. It is, it is a pretty good song. I think it's second half. There it is. The Unforgiven 3. In my opinion, the worst of The Unforgiven and the worst of Death Magnetic. I do not like this song at all the piano part is kind of creative but then i just it just loses it for me and Murata, yeah mom um, okay i knew this was coming up and i knew and i just think it's overly long i think it's 11 minutes and I just, I want them to make it shorter, first of all. And I feel like it could be better, my opinion. The Unforgiven 2, in my opinion, is the best of the Unforgivens. I, you have Unforgiven 1. Higher. Deserves more attention. It's so freaking awesome and melodious. Can't read sometimes. Um, yeah, The Unforgiven 2 is really good. Really good. That part reminds me of Leonard Skinner's Simple Man. Tilt sleeps, um, eh, decent. I, you know what? Yeah, yeah, it is a pretty good song. Works pretty well without a solo. I feel like it could use one though. Does that mean, bl yeah, bl I know what the first one is. Just like the stream. Uh, 
there it is. Don't have anything to say. It's obvious. Yeah, I mean, one is... One's a song. You know, it's pretty good. Damage Incorporated, this is the best Master Puppet song. Just kidding, it's uh, better. But I think this is the third best, because I also think Sanitarium is better. But Damage Incorporated, amazing. Fucking amazing and astonishing, whatever. Kirk loves his law. There we go. That is the best Injustice for All song. Blackened is the end. Um, I really love Blackened. Definitely top five. Probably second, honestly. But yeah, Blackened. Single best interlude ever. It is. There it is, Bleeding Me. That main riff is so beautiful. Yes, Bleeding Me is good. Still thinking nothing's better, but yes, Bleeding Me, I love it. Holy? Holier than now, as it said in mine. Yeah, holier than now is good. What's number one on that album? Oh, Unforgivable One. There it is. What I No, this is still great. Never shine through what I've shown. Never me. Never me. Screaming death. This part is one of the best sections that any guys have. Die! Die, die! I really like that part too. Die, die, die! Die, die, die! 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 Jump in the fire? Does that mean what I think it means? <gasps> yes! It's in top five. There we go. Motor Breath. Motor Breath is such a great song. And it deserves more love and it is very underrated. The live is good. The studio album is good. It has a really great outro. It has a really good intro. It has a really good... It has good everything. Agreed with this placement 100%. Really? Escape. I don't care what anybody says. I've loved it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, me too. Escape is pretty good. Especially the, I fought my own how to be free. It was written really quick, but... God damn, James is an artist. How to be free. With my mind, they just can see. No reason help me just to say. Trapped under ice. What's number one? What haven't we heard? Oh, I know what it is. Trapped Under Ice. Probably the best. For yeah, I mean, honestly, Trapped Under Ice has one up for me. Freezing! Freezing! I like that part, too. There it is. Freezing! Freezing! And the number one placement is... Just please look at Yeah, I did. Agree or not, this is the best song. So it's up there. It's up there. I do like Disposable. I do enjoy it quite a bit. I really like that riff. Disposable is very good. Shout out to Vin Vinci Re Rankings. But, alright. Time to go over what I think was the most surprising. In my opinion, Prince Charming was the most surprising. 84. It, I, I really love Prince Charming. It is my favorite Metallica song. 
by quite a fair bit. But Prince Charming is really great. I advise Vince you listen to it some more. Especially that bridge, how could you not love it? As well as Harvester of Sorrow. Harvester of Sorrow is great. I think it should be higher. But content, if you want me to react to any other ranking every single Metallica songs or ranking any kind of song of this genre or rating their most overrated songs more reactions leave a like comment subscribe and i will see you later